What is up in here, army? I am GameNair5 coming at you with a brand new video. And welcome back to the new village server. I've said I've said that I said that um Monday. Uh, not really, but anyway, said it Monday. What's going on? Uh, we are back. Standing in front of the very old center that uh, hosted the year end a couple years ago. Yesterday, no, Monday, not yesterday. <laughs> Monday, we built all this. You can probably see what we're going to be working on today. We built all this. Still not done. I still haven't done the landscaping and stuff. But uh, tur it turned out really nice over here. And we are continuing this today. Right there. Today, we are working on the big sports arena. Now, this looks scary, doesn't it? By the amount of work that is here. It is. Will I get this done today? My goal is to, but uh, will I? I have no idea. Because it is a lot, well, more ambitious than pretty much any other of the arenas that I've already done. And we've done one early, back in December. I did one on video and that one wasn't that hard. It didn't even have walls pretty much. <laughs> this one's going to be a whole lot harder. I need to flatten this mountain. I have to get... It all the way down to this level and um, all this round is where like the change room is and stuff is going to be that's what this blue line is and um, that beyond that uh, we have to put in seats we have to put in a full wall um, like this is not a small bill this it's probably one of the biggest builds I've ever had to do on uh, video. And uh, yeah, that was large. This doubles that. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely happy. But I will do this for the sake of YouTube. And the sake of myself, I will do this. I don't know how well this is going to go, but I will do this. Hey. This is not going to be fun. I will already say that. This is not going to be an enjoyable time. So, without further ado, let's get to building because I have a whole lot of work ahead of me. And that means I should probably just get started. The sooner I get started, the sooner it's done, and the sooner I don't have to worry about it. So, with that... Let's go!
Icky Dookie. It is done. I wanted to type that last. Let the last piece of the puzzle on uh, with you guys. Oh my god, I have a lot of junk in my inventory. Let's uh, get some of this stuff out. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't don't need the dead rabbit. Don't don't need trees. Don't need dandelions. Don't need other trees. And you can go on. Okay. Now my inventory is all clear. Let's step back for a little, a little further back. We'll jump on top of the building. And let's take a look at this build that took a whole lot longer than I would have thought. Because I got, um, I got, uh, the arena in, uh, what's it called? In Snowball, I didn't take that long. I got that done quite quickly. Well, this one took four days. <laughs> I started this Tuesday to go up on the wed for Wednesday. And this is going up on Friday. I think you could tell this take way longer than I expected. <laughs> Did it, no, A, it didn't help that I was battling a head cold during while building this. That did not help. That's why there was a lot of pauses. I was either coughing, sneezing my brains out, or uh, or need, or running out of the room for a quick second. That's why there was a lot of pauses during this, and even one part I completely forgot to even press record on, so... But, all that aside, server issues aside, we had a couple of that, uh, uh, the race to the finish line, uh, but, uh, it all turned out okay, Laurel Arena. Now, you might all be wondering, what the, what the heck is Laurel? Well, that's the bank on the server, so... Laurel Arena couldn't fit bank, so I just put Laurel Arena. So, if we fly around it, it is definitely the most uh, unique building I've ever built. <laughs> it's all made out of wood, pretty much, except for the roof, which is stone. And the interior walls are terracotta, but uh, mostly... This build is all wood. Now you would, you would think after the fiasco of the church in the main city that I would learn my lesson. Ah, uh, well, no, no. Look at this plant. Look at this. Er, this entire town. Everything's made out of wood. I certainly have not learned my lesson. If this, if all these buildings burn down, and they probably will eventually, but I don't have any lightning rods in this air in this area yet. Uh, well, hey, uh, well, do you see a place I could stick them? <laughs> because lightning rods, they're great. They're amazing. The only issue is sometimes they do light a fire right next to them. So, in that case, not smart having them on wood. <laughs> and I know a lot of people would probably be saying, Turn fire spread off! That takes realism out. Even though it's annoying as heck. But, uh, yeah. Hey. Uh, anywho. Uh, so, Laurel Arena. Probably the most flammable of the arenas. In the most flammable of towns. On the entirety of the server. Is now done. Do I love this build? Oh yeah, I think it looks beautiful. The way I constructed this, uh, the way I uh, covered the actual dome. I think this turned out wickedly nice. And then a late addition was these flags right in front. The actual town's flag plus the teams, the bees and the grizzlies. No, I don't know how to make a bear. That's obvious. This looks like a bee. <laughs> well, other than I didn't really, I sh shouldn't have put the black there, but it does look like a bee in my view. 
Uh, so, uh, then we have home of the grizzlies here, and home of the bees here. And now, let's go on a walk around, well, as you can tell, I'm not entirely done. I have to put some lighting in still. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's the issue, because my idea was... I will just go like this. No, nope, I don't work. <laughs> okay, so I will figure that out. Just not right now. And so, uh, just a tip. It's going to be quite dark. I don't know if you guys will be able to see much. So, uh, let's enter the beautiful Laurel Arena. This is the entrance area. Very big. This is the biggest part of the entire concourse. Other than the corners, but this is really the biggest part. And I want it to be because when you're entering, you have to, like, scan tickets. Then if there's anything to be given out, then you get given that. And then on onwards and so forth. Now, there isn't a store in here. That might go over here in the future. This area is completely empty behind. So, uh, yeah. Then, uh, I guess this is the... Area that took the most amount of time. The in the actual bowl and stuff. And uh, that's the score clock. It's the most unique score clock we've done. I don't have the ice in yet. I think that's pretty obvious. But uh, yeah, the reason why this took so long to do is because I had to pretty much take a mountain out, which was not fun. And uh, yeah, so. Once that was done, it was smooth sailing, but, uh, man, this took a while. And I mean, it took a while. I don't think I have ever spent this long on a build. Like, this build took so long. Now, I will say, out of all the build uh, arenas that I have done, the weirdest part of this one is that the change rooms are here. They're not, like, connect fully to the benches. Or, like, underneath the concourse. They are on the concourse! <laughs> this is the bees uh, change room, and this is the grizzlies. We will go in the bees change room first. This is what I look like. Wait, upon entry, black and yellow. And then you come over here, and this is where they s sit. This is the, their uh, stalls. Then we have a storage area behind here with a bunch of barrels. Um, I really like how this turned out. It really looks nice. And I will say, it's nice that I'm kind of going away from making them all look exactly the same. Because... In all of the arenas I've built so far, all the change rooms literally look the exact same. Same carpet layout, same locker layout. It's not a good idea. So, I'm changing it. And this one is looks a lot more unique. Now, I will say, I've built... Built an arena in mini games. I've built an, an an arena in the main city. I've built an arena in Snowball. I built the arena here now, and I'm working on one in Elephant. Now, this one, the one in the main city that I'm about to pretty much completely tear down and rebuild, because I, uh, it's the smallest one out out of all of them, and I noticed that it's uh that I miscounted when laying out the ice surface. So, yeah, uh, the main one will, the main city's arena, that will be getting demolished pretty darn soon. Don't know exactly when, but it will be pretty darn soon. But now, let's move on to the Grizzlies. It is a lot darker in here because of the floor choice. I picked dark oak. Now, that was a bad idea with no lighting. I couldn't really tell when uh, where the edges were. But as you saw in the time lapse, I 
put down torches to mark my way. But I really like how this one turned out. <laughs> it is nowhere near as bright as the last one. That's, I think, pretty darn obvious. But I really like the look of this. The dark oak, uh, along with oak for the stalls, and along with the oak exterior wall and the terracotta interior wall. I really like how this turned out. It looks so good. And once again, just like the bees, they have a storage area back here. And then, unlike, uh, completely different from the bees, they have two doors on the back, which can take them to this, the Zamboni entrance, <laughs> which uh, I will have to figure that, that's why this is so further back than that one. I'm actually going to build a Zamboni in here. I don't know how it's going to work, but uh, as I said, this is completely empty. Wee. See? Completely empty. This, the store's probably going to go right there. I just say, uh, I had to get this done. It's 3.58 on Friday, and I have a very busy night. I just have to get this up. I don't want to push this to Saturday. But, I will say, this is probably one of my favorite looking places that I've built. It on this server. It looks so nice. And I know I will probably top it with the next arena that I do, but uh, I really like this build, and just from this build alone, I can tell that my techniques have really changed f f over the years, because uh, this was quite a while ago. Look at the style of that. And compared to the style of this. Huge difference. Like, compare all these builds to this and that, which isn't even finished. And it's uh, you can tell I've really changed the way I built things over the years of doing this server. Because this was quite recent quite close to the beginning uh, along with this and along with the airport so with that all uh, with me talking about my skill advancing which it really has uh, with that Laurel Arena is done I am done here I am going to rest this has been four days of building which I love doing, but usually I don't film it. My SD card, which uh, I put all my videos on to get to my laptop for editing, is already pretty much full because I've gone hours upon hours. Now, the last build that I did on Monday was hard for me to even get under an hour, and I don't know what it final, final rounded out at on YouTube because it rounded out on the editing software in 59 minutes. This one's gonna be hard to cut down. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but uh, because this is a whole lot longer, that the build on Monday was two days. That's it. This four days. Think you can see an issue. So. With that, guys, it's now 401. I'm gonna call it a day. You guys will hopefully see this tonight. With that, I'm giving you a five from the New Army team. Sign off. I hope to see you all in the next video. I will see you all Monday for something that still has not really arrived yet. I've been uh, watching it very cl closely ever since it shipped. And it still has not arrived. So, hopefully it arrives on Monday. But, uh, yeah. With that, guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. I'm Gaming Air 5 signing off. And goodbye!
Fire!